watch Aku's video and tell me what you think. Is your heart not broken? An American will say, God bless America. A Ghanaian will say, God bless our homeland. But if you say to a Nigerian, may Nigeria happen to you, the person will reject it. Why are you rejecting your country happening to you? Why? <sighs> if you are new, hi, my name is Lillian. If you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button, turn on the bell, put it on the last one so that anytime I drop a video, YouTube will notify you. <laughs> Why am I doing like this? Already you should know. Fine. Let me be calm. Please do where to like this video as we go straight into it. So my darling subscribers and viewers, I know the types of videos that a lot of you have advised me to invest my energy on because they are even paying me better. These videos are profitable to my life, but there comes a time when we should lean our voices as human so that even to our conscience we can tell ourselves oh at some point i acted or i spoke i tried my best because if i go back and face my creator today what am i going to tell god nothing right so pardon me i am bringing those videos you know they take time you can't just go online get a video and post it's against the youtube community guidelines so i'm working on the types of videos that you guys want to see you want me out of trouble you want me to focus on my passion and i'm working on it both we have to take a minute or two to talk about life in one of my recent videos i talked about the privileges that you as a ghanaian enjoy that we that me as a nigerian cannot enjoy and these privileges were well stated i talked about as a ghanaian if you live in the uk us canada italy ireland belgium nigeria or kenya and you are tired you want to go home to ghana you are welcome without the fear of anything. The only thing you may want to be worried about is how you are going to take care of yourself here. If there are no investment yet, you may be wondering what will you do when you get here? Yeah, apart from that, you got no problem. But I, as a Nigerian, cannot feel that way. I have to go in Nigeria and run out like a thief. I finished making that video yesterday. I went online to search for places that people have suggested. I take a look at, I stumbled on Akusuma's video and there is no way that me, Lily, will not talk. I shall talk because why? We die once. Akusuma is one of the YouTubers that I respect so much. She is very intelligent, enlightened and open-minded. I respect her a lot. I stumbled on that channel way before I started mine. Recently, she's, she was in Nigeria recently, but I know that people would think she's still in Nigeria because that is how we do content. As a Nigerian YouTuber, you cannot freely go home and share your content. You have to run in like a thief and run out. So after watching her video, video of her, you know, she went through a lot in the video and I also went through a lot because of her emotion in the video. This woman lives in Ireland. She has been there for the past 16 years, according to her. She misses home. She want to come back to Nigeria. At some point, she have had her mom visit her there. But that is not all. For some of us that grew up in our villages, there is nothing that can replace that. So she want to go home to her village, to her childhood memories, to feed on these memories. But because she's a Nigerian, she can't freely go like a free bond. So when I stumbled on the video, I said, we are going to talk about it. I am so many things, but a liar and a coward. I'm bringing this here because sometimes people think I'm making up things for the views. I just want to talk about my country. No, it's not like that. I am being practical. And sometimes when I talk about issues, God will hand them over to me and I'll bring them back here to analyze and let you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, <laughs> it's going to be side by side, okay? A woman from Ghana who lives in Italy, she have been a sister here on YouTube. We met on YouTube here, you know, for some time and she was in Ghana. I even followed the video because I'm, I'm watching her video. I have her bell on. So when she came to Ghana, right from the airport, Josie vlogged till she got to her hometown in Ghana. But Aku cannot do the same. Aku has to sneak in and out like a thief. 
now these clips are going to be coming bit by bit i am going to be very careful so i don't get a strike trying to explain something that i'm talking about and what news will you like to see first is this sorrow or happiness for me i don't mind sometimes i like to see the sad news than the good one but hey i don't want to do this because i want us to finish watching this video because i want anyone that come across this video to after watching this video will go home with something heavy in their heart so that that can push us to put in the work to free our country because <laughs> our country if we continue to joke we are going you know, and learning you know, we are going we are going we are going and there is no return and for your information if you are a nigerian or a friend of nigerians you're seeing this video you have seen me for the first time you're watching this video you are angry with me please feel free you can even express it at the comment section but we are going to talk about it first let's start with aku let's let me show you guys some clip of how someone has to sneak into her father's house into her father's house let's go see today is the day that i'm going to see my mom for, for the first time in a long time and i'm going deeper deeper into the east like into the village you know when we say village is like the countryside right so and the I plan to dress really down. I don't want to stand out. I don't want to stand out in any way. And uh, I'm just getting ready. And uh, I'm gonna go with the bonnet on my head. Yes, I'm going. I, do, I, still, I still don't feel hundred percent. I still don't feel. I want to show you guys what I'm wearing. If you see me, I'm telling you. I'm like. I hope my mother won't think I was deported or something. <laughs> because I'm going to my village looking like a deportee. <laughs> From what I've been hearing, I don't think I'm doing too much. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, people have told me not to go, not to go, not to go, but um, I want to see my father's house. I haven't been there for 14 years. No, no, I have been there for, because of this same thing, don't go, don't go, don't go. 2008 till now, that's what we're talking about. 16 if i'm not mistaken about 16 years so i really want to see my father's house i really want to be there this is making me upset <laughs> no human being should be afraid to go home <laughs> so she got to a place in nigeria yeah still at the eastern part and she was told to not go to her father's house so what is the essence of coming home to africa all the way from ireland to africa to nigeria <laughs> what is the essence of coming because some of us no matter where i go to in nigeria if i don't go okay i never they go home like I don't consider that to be a trip until i get home to my childhood memories back in the love of my originality like my roots that trip means nothing to me that trip means nothing to me and that is exactly what this woman did in the video so she was told oh don't go don't go home don't go home like don't go home to my home you'll be wondering who are the people telling you not to go is it the security agency or the embassy the island embassy no 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 is the family members who are aware of how things are right now so they are telling her not to go home because they love her they are trying to protect her because something bad can happen to her aku i'm going to be calling her aku auntie see she's not my mate anyways but she understands i just want people to know who i'm talking about this is a nurse a senior nurse but she has to go by okrika she has to go by uh, a dress that is not too sh so that she don't look rich so that she don't appear rich because looking rich is a problem and this is why i said in the other video that is now like the rich also cry syndrome to get it so is she's not the only light-skinned person all right there are other people with light skin let me play that clip i'll be back
you know we have light skinned people in Nigeria, especially this part of Nigeria, right? But the thing is, if you are, if you, you most people are tanned from this being under the sun all the time. If you're not tanned, it simply means that you're not living here in Nigeria, or that you're so rich, you're always in an air conditioned house and car and everything that can make you stand out. Yes, yes, there are other people with light skin, but there are things you will put on your body to pop it to show that you have been under air conditioner. Since when has it become a crime? I beg, make una no verse. As a Kenyan, a Ugandan, a Rwandan, you are a Togolese, you are Ghanaian. Please tell me, is it a crime in your country to look rich, to look like someone that enjoys AC, someone that enjoys the good life? No, I don't, I, I don't. We learn every day. I don't mind. I want to learn. So this woman has to look unkept for her to be saved for her to be able to go to her father's house and come out without being you know whatever she's afraid of without that happening to her and now watch this part that got me angry the most and what i wanted to do watching this part is grab her and hug her and we cry together because that is how i feel too this is making me upset <laughs> Hey guys, nobody should be afraid to go home. No human being should be afraid to go home. It's just, it's wrong. This is how I feel too. As a Nigerian, I want to go home, but I can't. For me, I may not be the target because I think everybody knows that I don't have the money and I come from one of the poorest families, right? But, but yeah, those that are looking for just anybody to harm, those without a target, they just do things randomly. What about that? Okay, that is like a stray bullet or a case of just generally pack them into the bush. Anyone that they can come for, they will, anything, even if it's, even if it's 100,000 Naira that we can get, we get. Do you understand? The last time I went home, of course, when I came back and I started to post my videos, my subscribers had no idea that I came back from Ukele about a week before I started posting my videos because I cannot freely as a Nigerian, just freely be vlogging. Hi guys, I'm in my village or go live at the airport in Nigeria to claim that, oh God, that is where our country is right now. Who is going to save Nigeria? Continue allowing Chelsea and Arsenal to divert your attention from a generational problem. Going to church has diverted your attention from the reality on ground. While you are inside the church shouting, Amen, Amen. Nigeria will be better, shout, Amen, Amen. Pray until something happens. Pray with all your energy. Pray with all your strength. Pray for Nigeria to get better. Pray, pray. 2024 budget has been printed. Taxpayers' money, borrowed money, will end in the waste of a slave queen. The trillions and billions they wrote here will be used to build many more mansions and to also acquire plenty SUVs. While you are discussing Messi and Ronaldo, Man City and Manchester, somebody is stealing meat from your cooking pot. Who is going to save Nigeria? Are we all going to sit down and pretend that all is well because we want to look rich on the internet and just hit on a few Nigerians? Nigerians like me that don't want to take part in that pretentious act of you know all because is it, is it your family? I mean, I'm talking about kids that are being kidnapped right now in Kaduna states and People are on the internet saying that the kidnapping in Nigeria is being staged I'm talking about the soldiers that are murdered and what about the community? And what about that community? What is the protection for the community? These soldiers couldn't be protected. They have lost their lives. What about the community, the children and women, the disabled people? 
in this community. We shouldn't care about them. Can you go home right now if you're from there? Those with monies will take their families and run away. Those with a large heart will try to help others that are helpless. But how long are we going to be like that for? It hates me because I do content that don't resonate with you. But what about what I'm saying in this video? What is the way forward? What can we do to get our country back? I don't have to live in Ghana because Nigeria and Ghana, they are almost the same. I'm seeing the same black people around. I'm seeing almost the same culture, the food. So why can't I sit back at home with my family, get the moral support from my biological family, just get to be with my family. Sometimes I miss my village, but it's not something I can just randomly go apart from the money. Yeah, Lily, you can't go because you're broke. Others are going. Yes, that is true. But apart from that, I can afford, I can save towards the strips and go because I usually even go by road. So to see, I'm not even expensive. Feel at home and then come back. Fine, I mustn't leave there. But what about the freedom to go back? Is it there? It's not there. And let us, let us do something to save our nation. Nigeria is going. And I already have called on the good people of Ghana. Don't give us anything don't give us visas okay now we are like refugee okay help us give us money give us food give us theater for those who don't want to rent to nigerians again rent to nigerians but don't give us your citizenship rent to a nigerian and if a nigerian messes up your house send a nigerian out of your house don't think twice don't they're not going to change that particular one that is giving you headache is going to continue giving you headache chase him or her out of your house if another nigerian come in he mess up you kick but don't reject us entirely how are we going to get nigeria back i mean how think about this i'm going to leave you with aku's cry eventually she went home anyways and you know all the things if you want to watch you can go to her channel and see the full video and yeah but seriously we can do better than this we can do better than wanting to look good on the internet when internally everything is wrong let us go home to save our country what are the plans on ground how are we going to rescue her because it is beyond praying at the comment section i want to throw up i just wanted to land everybody a slap twa, 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 twa. at the comment section those that are praying i want to beat them not because i don't believe in god i am a believer of the gospel of our lord jesus christ but some things are best done without praying about them or pray about them and do it practical something as simple as peace in nigeria is not in the hands of god is in our hands it is for me today to say okay i can tolerate you i don't have to kill you i don't have to be brutal i don't have to oppress you i don't have to make money off you at the expense of you going broke i don't have to kill you i don't have to oppress you how many things am i going to name it is beyond just praying prayer is the key i am a fan of prayer but not when it comes to issues like that but fine for those that are doubting there are no issues in nigeria how do you pray for something that you don't believe in i see people say hey, i did go church home. but i don't believe they are witchcraft so what are you praying against what are the principalities that the bible talked about who are the principalities and powers what are you praying against you don't believe witchcraft exists but you won't stop praying you are praying casting and burning on everything so what is that thing you are praying against exactly when you don't believe exists that is the same energy we don't believe that we have a problem we have security challenge going on at home so why are you praying and what are you praying against until you accept that or oh, have issues and it needs to be looked into until then there is nothing you can do to address the issue if you are poor you be like, okay, fine. Now I'm poor. This is poverty staring at me on the face. And the best way to deal with this is to wrestle it, give it a fight, try my best. And that is the same thing with the insecurity in Nigeria. How can you go home like a thief to your own country? Make it make sense. It doesn't. 
and then there are other people on the internet saying that people are staging kidnap i mean like how how i watched a video that changed everything for me on youtube here at that time i was planning to go home i was planning to go back home and i wanted to go home to my village and live there with my kids because i feel like this body in the city is too much for me but when i stumbled on that video i knew that nigeria is not all right for me to go back to right now i live there because this is a single woman with children who has no money yet she was kidnapped so and tortured and the grace saved her her friends came through for her raised money and gave to kidnappers i don't have such people in my life i have good people in my life but i don't have people that have monies that they can donate to save me should i get into that until you accept that there is a problem you cannot find solution i am leaving everyone with this word go home think about this watch Aku's video and tell me what you think is your heart not broken are you happy should i pray that may nigeria happen to you an american will say god bless america a Ghanaian will say god bless our homeland but if you say to a Nigerian, may Nigeria happen to you, the person will reject it. Why are you rejecting your country happening to you? Why? It means that we need to wake. It is beyond coming at the comment section to hate on me. It doesn't penetrate. It doesn't make, it doesn't change a thing because I know I'm saying the truth. And I have many Niger and there are so many Nigerians on my table on my side because they know what i'm talking about let us go save our home today no human being should be afraid to go home <laughs> it's just it's wrong it's wrong because you know you travel far out sorry <laughs> 